Okay guys, I'm here to give you my TNA Final Resolution 2012 review. So let's get right into it. So for the commentators of the show, it's Taz, Todd Kinley, and Mike Tanay. Now the first thing is James Storm comes out and cut the promo, but for the first match, it was James Storm versus Kazarian. I had some technical difficulties because I watched it by the laptop. Um, but I think that James Storm won by the super kick. The... Last call, super kick. And then we have, um... Rob Van Dam defending the X Division Championship against Kenny King. Great match. That was a great match. Um... We had Kenny King kick him in the back, Howdy in the back of the head. And he goes flying off into the, um, barricade. Um... Then you have Rob Van Dam kicking him in the back of the head. Um, again, then you had, um, Kenny Kin do a wall up and Van Dam kicks out. Then you have, uh, I'm trying to think here. Then you have Rob Van Dam do the dive and kick. Um, you had Kenny Kin give him like a, go for the, then you have him go for the five star fox splash. He gets, uh, he moves out of the way. Kenny Kin actually gave him trouble in paradise off the rope. Into the back of the head while he was while his balls were against the ropes. Um, then um, eventually Raw Van Dam just rolled up Kenny Kin and won and retained the X Division Championship. Great match. You need to utilize your X Division a lot more though. But it was a good match for what it was. And then we have Christopher Daniels interview. He says that AJ Styles is just a, all AJ Styles ever will be is a loser. Um, and you, it, I, he is going to be forever known as the better man. Then you have Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez defending the World Tag Team Championships against Joey Ryan and Matt Morgan. Um, this match wasn't really anything. It was just kind of like an occasional tag match. It wasn't really anything special. Um... Then, what eventually what happens is, uh, Chavo gives, uh, Joey Ryan the frog splash. Um, Matt Morgan, then, uh, but Matt Morgan pulls the referee outside the ring. And so that causes a disqualification. Not a big fan of that. Then, uh, Chavo goes for a dive and cross body on Matt Morgan. His back, he puts his, he catches him and puts his spine towards the post. And Hernandez does a diamond shoulder block outside the win. And then the champions just stand tall. That was really it. Nothing really special right there. Um, then we have an Austin Aries interview. He says that I shouldn't, he, he shouldn't be getting involved in other people's personal lives. He, Bully Ways made this personal. His plan was to win the world championship, but tonight he's going to beat Bully Way. Then it shows the... The way they've been building up the Austin Aries Bully Way match. We get Austin Aries versus Bully Way. That was a good match. Gotta give them props. We had, um. It was a great match. We had, let me think. We had Austin. It, was, it started off a little sloppy, but then eventually it got great. We had Austin Aries go for a suicide dive. Bully Way counters into a, um. Big boot. Bully Way does a missile drop kick. Austin Aries does the drop kick into the corner. Um, Bully Ray does the bubble cutter. Austin Aries does the brain buster. No, actually, he never did the brain buster. Sorry about that. Austin Aries did a great submission holds. Eventually, um, Bully Ray go goes to catch him, but Austin Aries drop holds him. Gives him a drop toe hold into the steel steps, which busts him open. Brooke Hogan comes down. This is where it got bad. Um, Austin Aries puts her in the ring. Um, she, he, he starts talking smack to her. Bully Ray throws um, Austin Aries outside the ring. Hulk Hogan comes to get Brooke Hogan out of harm's way. Austin, the referee is distracted by this. Austin Aries low blows Bully Ray and pins him for the victory. Which was... But unfortunately, this isn't over, though. There's going to be more stuff with this. Then it shows um, a Velvet Sky. She's saying that her return, and she gives comments about that. 
we get Taylor and Jesse interview. She says that she's gonna um retain the knockouts championship and I that I forget really what she said actually. Then we get Mickey J no Taylor defending the knockouts championship with Jesse against Mickey James and yeah, match. It wasn't really anything special. Um. Eventually, what ends up happening is uh, Tess Marker, Taylor just gives her the widow's peak and wins. I don't really care for that match. Bobby Wu gets interviewed, and he says that he was the most dominant world champion of the year, and that he's going to leave with the world championship tonight because it pays to be wooed. Then it shows the stuff that Aces and Nates have been doing. We get Aces and Nates versus Wes Wisco, Garrett Bischoff, Small Joe, and Kurt Angle. This was just an occasional... Eight man tag team match you would see on TV. Not really a good tag team eight man tag team match. Um had some good stuff here and there. Koenig would just makes one of them aces and eights in the mask tap out to the ankle lock. No wait, pins it off the after an angle slam. But I think the aces and eights really needed to win there because it just makes them look so weak. It just made them look weak. Then we have um AJ Styles interview. And it says that he's beat um, Christopher Daniels and he can do it again. It shows the AJ Styles Christopher Daniels video package. We get Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles and you can only win by pinfall submission. Great match. Um, AJ Styles suplex him on the apron. AJ Christopher Daniels on the apron. Christopher Daniels walk bottomed AJ Styles on the um, apron. He threw him into the steps. He gave him a suplex on the steps and says, you see that? And he had, like, he goes like that and he had tape on everywhere but his middle finger. Then, um, he starts dominating AJ Styles. Eventually, they go back and forth. Christopher Daniels does the superplex off the ropes. AJ Styles does the Pele. Um, they collide heads. AJ Styles gets his eye opened up. Um, then, um, AJ Styles, um, hits the Styles lash. Christopher Daniels kicks out. Um, then eventually, um, he goes for the Styles Glass off the turnbuckle, fails, because the AJ Christopher Daniels goes onto the ropes, and then Christopher Daniels takes the Styles Glass and pins him for the victory. Uh, then we get Jeff Hardy versus Bobby Roode video package. Jeff Hardy defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Bobby Roode. Um, a fine match, not really any, not, I, I, Preferred the AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels match to main event. Eventually, um, after Roods dominated him so many times, Hardy just hits the twist of fate for the win when the Aces and Aids won't come help him. And then the Aces and Aids just lay out Rude and Hardy. That's pretty much it, guys. I didn't really want to say much for this video because I wanted to do some stuff with WWE 13 because all my stuff got deleted. So, but I'll be back some sometime tonight or tomorrow. Whatever.